first off, thank you very much, President Sa, for your time and for this interview today. A pleasure. Nice to meet you. Well, G-Star, it's been going on since 2005. It's one of the most iconic game exhibitions or events. Now, could you first tell us a little bit about G-Star? G-Star is a global game exhibition happening right now in Korea. The event is supported by joint sponsors like the Ministry of Culture, Sports and Tourism, the Busan Metropolitan City, and the Korean Association of Game Industry, as well as the Busan IT Industry Promotion Agency. This event was first launched eight years ago, and since the past three years, Busan has become the venue for the exhibition, which has grown in size and its content. The Global Game Exhibition G-Star 2012 is among numerous global game shows, and this year the show lasts for four days starting November 8th through November 4th at the Busan Exhibition and Convention Center. So quite a lot of uh, changes, evolutions that the event G-Star has seen. Now in terms of the global video game industry, it's uh, quite a popular one to say the least. What would you say is your outlook on the uh, potential, the prospects of the industry? According to a report written by the Korea Contents Academy, the world's game market is estimated at around 85 billion U.S. dollars, of which video game consoles or interactive video games make up around 40 percent of the amount, and some 28 percent are mostly arcade video games. Around 19 percent are online games, which Korea has a strong edge over. The market for online and smartphone games is expected to grow even more compared to other platforms. The Korean game industry amounts to around 8 trillion won, or 7.2 billion U.S. dollars, taking up 5.8 percent of the global market share and estimated to grow by over an annual 13 percent. So quite a hefty share of the global market. Um, how would you rate Korea's competitiveness then? When it comes to online games, Korea has become almost like a sovereign state. Korea leads other countries in online gaming-related server operating technology and in its planning skills. Korea's game industry has become increasingly creative, making it even more attractive to overseas game companies as well as professional gamers. So in terms of gaming, I mean, gaming's been around for a while, but of course there are trends in the gaming uh, industry like any other industry. So what are some changes we're seeing today? Uh, yeah, good. The earlier forms of the game industry were mostly arcade games at public places. I remember. Yeah, <laughs> those games came into our homes as video console games. Then, since around 10 years ago, online games emerged, an area which Korea has had a strong edge over. These days, we have our mobile games readily available thanks to the smartphones. So we can take a look at all these different trends, some of the different, uh, I guess, charms of, of course, the Korean gaming industry as well at G-Star 2012. It's a big event, a lot of people involved working to make it happen. What kind of preparations were involved? G-Star has come a long way with a lot of effort put into its improvement during the past eight years. This year it has undergone major changes as civic groups preside over the event rather than government institutions. The handover was decided in March of 2012, and since then, the G-Star promotional committee formed, comprised of game industry marketing experts. The committee created manuals and policies by reflecting opinions from professional gamers. Promotional visitations were made to some 40 overseas and domestic game companies since this past June. G-Star also participated at global events like the China Digital Entertainment Expo and Gamecom, 
where G-Star introduced itself to some 234 companies. Other efforts include a joint marketing agreement with the Tokyo Game Show. Also, applications for B2B or B2C filled up much earlier than a year before. Wow, so a lot of preparations, a lot of interest being shown. Uh, what can we expect in terms of export deals made after or through G-Star? What's the figure that we're kind of considering? We think that G-Star will grow into an event that will attract an annual 280,000 visitors. We think that many game-related companies will participate in this event, resulting in export deals estimated to top 100 million U.S. dollars. We also hope the exhibition can become a place of enjoyment and fun for gamers and visitors alike. So we're seeing quite a big event in store with many changes as well. Now you did touch upon some of the changes, but maybe you could tell us a little bit more, especially the size of the event is a lot bigger than uh, some of the previous ones. Yeah. The exhibition itself has grown in benefiting from its venue, the Busan Exhibition and Convention Center, or BEXCO, becoming twice its size this year. Last year, the G-Star event was limited to the existing main hall, but this year the exhibition has expanded into the newly built auditorium that can hold up to 4,000 people. In previous events, being that G-Star is a Korean a gaming uh, exhibition type of event, there's been a lot of domestic companies, but I hear that this year we're seeing a lot more global companies getting involved. Yeah. Good. There is a definite increase in industry-related participants this year, including major domestic game companies, with the exception of new startups that have yet to launch their new products. You can expect several newcomers this year, such as companies like Neofree, Joymax, and Nowcom. Japan's Nintendo, famous for its video console games, will also attend for the first time this year. Smartphone game providers like Gameville and SK Planet are also expected newcomers. A total of 434 game companies are expected to show up at the exhibition this year, a whopping increase since last year, out of which includes overseas firms from 31 different countries from around the world. It's very good for G-Star. We're seeing a lot of support as uh, G-Star is growing in size, and of course that will only help to propel it further in the future. For example, the Small and Medium Business Administration, they are wanting to um, push and support G-Star as well. Among the participating 400-some game-related companies, we have a substantial amount of mid-sized companies as well as major ones, too. As part of our support system, we are providing translators and accommodations for the B2B participants. We are also helping companies to participate in business consultations, as well as a 10% discount on participation fees for the B2C visitors using less than 20 booths. There will be more benefits for those those participating at booths run by government institutions like the Korea Creative Contents Agency and the Busan IT Industry Promotion Agency. So you talked a little bit about some of the trends, the changes we're seeing, and of course mobile gaming is one of them. What would you say is the factors behind this increase, this surge in the mobile gaming industry? Yeah. The boom in the social network service area, which began three years ago, paved the way for the smartphone industry. User increase in social network service has contributed to the market expansion of smartphone mobile games. Smartphone games have an advantage of mobility, in which users can access it any given free time of the day. Plus, the games are easy to learn. Because of this, mobile game users are expected to increase as more women and elders are able to play the smartphone games. You're absolutely right. I mean, people of all ages, even mothers, fathers, grandfathers, are all playing mobile games. Um, is that, that's probably the reason we're also seeing G-Star adapting to that. They're pushing for a mobile platform for the event. 
There will be a lot of focus on smartphone game providers at G-Star this year, and at larger booths in B2C, many are expected to showcase games made for smartphones. Smartphone game providers will make up 40% of participating companies. This shows how the trend has shifted from online games to other various platforms and contents. I want to talk a little bit about the B2B, that's the business to business hall at G Star. It looks different from uh, previous years. Could you tell us about some of the changes that hall has been seeing? Yeah, good. Uh, B2B there has been a lot of emphasis put into highlighting the B2B business hall this year, which organizers can proudly say is one of the best among other global game shows. Our B2C and B2B exhibit halls will be more spacious this year. The B2B hall is one and a half times bigger than last year, which will only help business flourish. Different from B2C. Aside from that, I mean, just the scale, the size of the event, of course, is most notable. But there are also different events taking place for the first time this year. For example, we have a concert, a G Talk concert, and not to mention a market investment type of event. Could you tell us a little bit more? Yeah. There will be two services available during the event. One is the G-Star Talk Concert, where company leaders can join in the discussion about the future of the game industry. While another service is called the Investment Market, which helps struggling mid-sized companies find investors. So for G-Star 2012, uh, what is the goal? And what are some future visions you have for G-Star? G-Star launched in Busan three years ago, and since then it has improved and grown in size. We think of this period as the G-Star 2.0 season. The G-Star 3.0 era began when, in 2012, civic groups, not government, resided over G-Star. Our vision for the future is to make G-Star a leading exhibition among global game shows. Our first plan involves creating a more relaxed environment and having better service for participating gamers and companies. The second plan is to strengthen the B2B business area. We also hope to introduce diverse events at the B2C area, adding variety to the game culture, and finally we hope to attract more overseas companies in the coming future. Ah. So a lot of things to uh, work on to further improve, although we want to congratulate you for such a successful, at least, preparation process for G-Star. Now, for our inside viewers, a lot of them don't live in Korea, right? So for some of our foreign visitors for G-Star 2012, what are some tips you have for them? Foreign participants can expect to find Korean companies with interesting and new online and mobile games. They should also take advantage of events that have many giveaways. The city of Busan is expected to be packed with visitors during the exhibition period. So we suggest that hotel reservations be made ahead of time. We also advise visitors to make time to see Busan, Korea's number one port city, and a well-known tourist destination that attracts over 2.3 million people every year. Yeah, I think for foreign visitors, it's totally worth it to see G-Star, but also appreciate the beautiful city yeah, of Busan. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, President Hope, for your time, and we wish G-Star 2012 the best of luck. Yeah, thank you. We're proud of what we have accomplished at this year's G-Star, and we hope that many gaming fans will come and visit.